For our next question, what are the possible side effects of coming off of insulin when your body does not produce enough C-peptide? Well, let's go back and first talk about C-peptide and exactly what is C-peptide. Because many patients who are getting the Verda treatment may have their C-peptide levels checked. And why do we do that? We do that because it gives us a really good idea of how much insulin their pancreas is able to produce. So when a patient is first, early, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, on average, 50% of the cells in their pancreas that produce insulin have actually died already at the very beginning of the diagnosis because they've been overused for so long. They essentially tucker out. And so people would initially think, okay, look, if I want to take a look at insulin levels um, and how much insulin my pancreas is able to produce, we'll just draw a insulin level. And that actually is really problematic. Um, in giving us an answer to the question of how much insulin is my body able to produce. Because our insulin levels are very dynamic through the day. They're up and down and up and down. So if you're just checking an insulin level, you're not really sure if you're catching a high one or a low one. But, and they're also metabolized differently. So insulin is metabolized in the liver very quickly. But insulin is released along with something called C-peptide. And it doesn't have these peaks, troughs, and quick metabolism um, issues that come with insulin. So when we're looking at someone's insulin producing ability, what we usually check is a C-peptide. It tells us how much insulin they're able to produce. So now that we understand C-peptide a little bit more, let's go back to that question and say, how is that going to influence my ability to get off insulin? Well, if your C-peptide is zero, meaning your body is not able to produce any insulin any longer, you will not be able to get off of insulin completely. That is a term called, or that is a condition called insulinopenia. And it's very similar to type 1 diabetes where patients aren't producing any insulin, it's just that the cause is different. In type 1 diabetes, this is an autoimmune process, and in type 2 diabetes where someone develops uh, low or zero C-peptide, meaning they can't produce insulin any longer, it's essentially from pancreas burnout. Now, people who follow a strict low-carb diet who are still producing some insulin, meaning they have maybe a lower but still present C-peptide, possibly still have the ability to get off insulin or maybe all but a very small basal insulin. Again, and that's something that will be very personalized and needs the assistance of a physician. And that is one of the reasons why we have a physician, a Verda physician assigned to each patient in the Verda treatment so that we can help patients not only remove medication safely, because that is critical, but also at the beginning, take a look in patients who are taking insulin at the C-peptide to give them some realistic expectations about what can be accomplished and potentially at what rate. So this is a really important question because C-peptide for anyone who has type 2 diabetes over a long period of time and has needed exogenous or insulin that's in injected, a C-peptide can be really helpful in predicting how they will be able to get off insulin or if.